Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have part two of my year long empties where I'm gonna talk about everything that I finished off this year. If you guys haven't seen part one, I talked about all of my makeup products that I finished off, perfumes, as well as nail products. There was a lot. I mean, not a lot of makeup per se, but I finished off seven full sized perfumes and quite a bit of nail polish in my opinion. So check that out, I will link it up in the eye or in the description bar below. And then you, get, you guys can come back and watch the second part because at the end of this video, I am gonna talk about my numbers compared to last year. I will give you guys all like um, an all around numbers kind of thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <sighs> I'm running on four hours of sleep. Let's get into this video. All right guys, so I checked out, I took the pictures of everything yesterday. I have my laptop in front of me to just see what it is and I'm gonna talk about them. I will put up pictures on the screen, of course, as always, you guys know I love doing that. And this year's MTs is a little bit different because I don't know if you guys wanna know details specifically about the products or you just want a general view, view or numbers of what I've finished off, you know, like you don't wanna see those boring details let me know down below because i'm not pre i'm not really sure let's start off with what should i start off with vitamins yeah that is the most boring stuff so as you guys can see i finished off four bottles of vitamins three of them were the inversion complex uh cloth total complex i don't know what it is it's for hair nails whatever my uh, my dermatologist gave it to me i had three of them i finished it off as well as my multivitamins so those were all in my hair care or body care or skincare. I don't know, you guys can put it into that category because they were for my hair and nails basically. So that is why I put it into here. I don't usually take my vitamins. I'm very bad with taking vitamins, which is why I'm very proud that I've actually managed to finish off all of that in the span of a year. Next, we have lotions. So I have quite a few. <laughs> Let's talk about my full-size lotions. I have six of them, you guys can see. I had the Pure, oh, what was it called? The Pure, Pure Passion Lavender Lotion. I had the Nissa Hand Moisturizer, the Rituals Ginkgo Secret uh, Hand, Hand Balm, I don't know what it's called. I really liked that, but the smell was kind of off because I've had it for a while. I also had the Naomi Gazelle Shimmering Body Lotion that was in a project pan. My Body Shop Peppermint Cooling Foot Lotion that took me five years to finish off and it was hella expired, but it didn't smell bad. It's just the smell of peppermint wasn't apparent anymore. <laughs> Let's just say that. And then the last thing I finished off was my Shoal Heart Skin Softening Cream. It was my foot lotion. So I finished off six of them. My goal for that uh, for 2020 was to finish off as many of my lotions as possible as well as my mini like shower stuff, which I will talk about at the end of this video because oh, you guys will be proud. I am proud. I can't believe I went through so many body products. So that was for my full size lotions. And then I had a huge bag of mini lotions for my hotel rooms, as you guys know. And I've been putting them into various project pans just to finish them off. And you guys can see here. I finished all of these. I can't believe this. I am so proud of myself. That's 25 mini lotions, guys. I finished off 25 mini lotions. Can you guys believe that? That's a total of 31 lotions out of my collection. I am so proud of myself. Like, let me just say it straight up. Like, I don't think I'll ever do as good as I did this year, but 31 lotions out of my collection amazing like two bags gone let's go uh from the top down i had four of the nh collection hand cream i don't really like it, it wasn't super moisturizing but i liked how the consistency was gel like and it would sink into the skin very fast and then i finished six of my thon aromatic woods body lotion that was for my honeymoon that was three years ago so i've had all of these for that long well some of them are like a year year old but that's besides the point. I finished all seven of them. Those were the last ones that I had. I also finished three of the Thema E um, body lotion that I got in Tokyo. I also finished three of the Forest Essentials Luxurious Ayurveda 
and the scent aloe vera and neem that body lotion with the gold cap i finished off a mini um eco fresh body hand and body moisturizer one amouage hand and body lotion one forest essentials body lotion in lime tulsi and narangi i also finished off another eco eco fresh i don't know it was eco culture eco by green culture i think and i had my mini versace yellow diamond lotion that came with the like um set of the perfume and the lotion and like the roller ball i think then i also finished off two of my rose 31 uh from the brand Le Labo, my lotion i love that that was from like four years ago guys and then i also finished off two of my co bigelow uh I think it was my peppermint uh, body lotion. 25 mini lotions out of my collection. I'm not sure how many I have left, but I'm pretty sure it's under 20 right now. I need to do my inventory pretty soon. That will be up in January, like in the beginning of January or mid-January, depending on my upload schedule with all of the Project Pan intros. And then let's go into the hair care items. So I finished my Vatica coconut enriched hair oil as well as my l'oreal elsieve extraordinary oil which i just use after my shower the vatica coconut oil i used as a pre-shower um kind of treatment for my hair i did also have two um sprays for hair growth it was my hair grow my noxidil five percent something my dermatologist gave me that and then i did also finish off two batiste dry shampoos batiste is my favorite honestly nothing compares nothing works as well as batiste for me i've tried a couple of other brands and honestly i don't even know why i try other stuff when this is the only thing that works very well and also smells amazing so i really love that i did also finish off my l'oreal el net uh hairspray mm, i love this it just kind of reminds me of my mom you know like just when she used to do her hair before my dad would get home from work it's just a, a very nice memory i have of us so that was everything for my hair products uh didn't really use a lot or finish a lot i will talk about shampoos conditioners body washes and stuff like that at the end just because they're not hair and skincare per se it's more like body care and like essentials you know so those i'm not going to show pictures i'll just give you like a, a total number at the end when i give you a total number of everything start to finish so makeup skincare everything body care i'm going to talk about them right at the end next we have skincare let's start off with cleansers and makeup wipes these are everything that I finished off. I finished off two makeup wipe products. None of them were purchased by me. They were both purchased by my husband and I don't like makeup wipes myself. I used to use Neutrogena makeup wipes like years ago, like two years ago or something. I stopped purchasing those just because they are harmful for the environment and I do want to do my part in saving the planet as much as I can. Like here, I can't really recycle that much but I do want to make smarter choices with everything that I purchase. So single time use stuff I don't purchase myself, but if anyone buys it for me or gifts it to me, I will still use because they've already bought it. So I don't want it to go to waste. So I have the Face Shop Rice Water Bright Cleansing Facial Wipes. It was okay. So I had the Dirty Boy Bamboo Face and Body Wipes. <laughs> I use that on my face mostly if i had just had any sunscreen on that day i would just use that to wipe my face and then i would go and wash my face like my husband used that also so those were the two makeup wipes who finished off i did also finish off my micellar water from bioderma i love this i don't really use micellar water that much anymore just because i do have my uh, reusable makeup uh, cleansing wipe or towelette that's why i don't really i haven't gone through a lot of cleansers this year i did also have uh, my biore um, deep pore charcoal cleanser as well as my ba uh, bath and body works exfoliating cleanser it was from the men's section but me and my husband both used it and then i did also finish off a couple of um, sample cleansers so the first one was the kiehl's body fuel all-in-one energizing wash it was a hair and body cleanser uh, I used it on my face once and then just like took it down my neck and everything, you know, finished it off. I did also finish off the Clinique Pep Start 2-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. 
it was okay, not too harsh, I liked it. The Philosophy Purity Made Simple 3-in-1 Cleanser for Face and Eyes, I did really like that and I liked the fact that it foamed up. I also finished off two SkinCeuticals uh, cleanser, one was the Replenishing Cleanser Cream and the other was the Gentle Cleanser. I did also like these but SkinCeuticals is so expensive, I don't know if I'll purchase any of these in the future, I just want to go through everything, all the other cleansers that I already have in my collection. So that was everything that I finished off. Two makeup wipes, one micellar water, two cleansers, and five sample cleansers. Uh, not the best, but I honestly thought I went through way, way, way more than that. I don't know, I'm surprised. I did also, fin I did also finish off a MAC brush cleanser. I put it into, into here because a clean brush means <laughs> no pimples and no bacteria growth on my brushes and I, I kind of, incorporate that into a skincare kind of thing you know just to keep my skin healthier so i did finish one of those i don't i don't i'm not gonna buy anymore i'll just use my natural like my normal whatever shampoo i'm using uh, i did finish off three sunscreens the f first one was my melissa kiss uh with spf 50 i think i did not like this i like it it left a very white cast although it didn't make my face oily, which I really appreciated. So if I put makeup on top, it was I was pretty good. Also finished off my Nivea Sun uh, Protect and Moisture SPF 50 plus plus plus. I did use it on my face and body as well. Not very picky with my SPF, honestly. And the third one was my Limpio sunscreen with SPF 60. I typically try to use SPF 50 and above just because I do live in the Middle East and it's a desert and the sun is pretty strong here. Then I have um, scrubs and masks. I had two sample Kiehl's Facial Fuel Energizing Scrub. They were for men, but I used it up myself. I also had the Clear Nose Intensive Facial Black Mask plus rose water, absolutely did not like this. I hate peel off masks. I used to like them just cause it was fun. Also had the Watson's sleeping mask. It was just a tiny sample. So three samples, one uh, full sized. I don't understand. I thought I've gone through some stuff. Was that in 2019? Like have I used nothing this year? I, I really need to target my masks i'm so surprised I, I don't know why for face masks yeah sheet masks i mean um i did finish off all of these you guys can see i finished off three six ten eleven <laughs> what is math so i finished off 11 sheet masks I, I like these sheet masks because they have a lot of essence left like in the pack i can use them two two to three nights afterwards on my on my skin as a serum you know so i am very moisturized for that like period or that week all three of my faith and face i am not tired i gel patch did not like that it was kind of dried up and then i did also have two of the knc beauty all natural collagen infused lip mask which was also kind of dried up so and then we have facial mists so i have three of the monte vibiano facial mist hydrating facial mist did I say misc? mist? They were all from like um, goodie bags from the um, Qatar Airways um, business class. So very expensive brand. I did not expect that. <laughs> I was flying through it in the beginning of the year. And then when I saw like how much it was worth, I was like, hold up. I did also finish off my Dermalogica uh, antioxidant uh, hydra mist don't really know what it did for my skincare uh let's talk about um, eye creams yeah i finished off three eye creams two from kiehl's one was the powerful wrinkle reducing eye cream in the orange tub and then i also had the super multi-correcting eye opening serum and then i also had a sample of the event swiss rejuvenating eye complex i did like that also although it was a sample it was like a third of the full size so it's a mini mostly and it's very expensive. That was in, given to me in PR. Then for my skin treatment kind of stuff. So we had the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Night Pad Extreme um, Facial Pads. I did also have my Kiehl's uh, Precision, Precision Lifting and Port Tightening Concentrate. That was the only serum I guess I finished off. And then for my acne treatment, I had the Smoothie Acne Plus. 
those were the three kind of like um then the pen fab was an ex chemical exfoliator the keels one was a serum and the smoothie one was a acne treatment so one of each category then we have moisturizers i have quite a bit of moisturizers. Start off with the lip masks. We have three. Uh, one was the Agave from Bite lip mask. There was, I, had, I think I had two left from the three and I finished it off. I also had the Monteviviano um, lip balm in the blue tube, as well as the Body Shop um, Born Lippy. Had the tiniest amount left and I finished it off. And then uh, for the sample ones, I had six sample moisturizers. Three were the Kiehl's Facial Fuel Energizing Moisture Treatment for Men. Used it myself. <laughs> I have the men. And then I also had two from Rexaline Derma. Never heard of this brand. This was also given to me by my sister-in-law. It off was from, from Vichy. It's my Idealia Skin Sleep Bounce. Oh yeah, that was French, sorry. Recovery Night Gel Balm. <laughs> I was wondering why I don't understand what it was written. For my face moisturizer, these were the fuller and mini size. I have the Olympio Q10 Coenzyme Moisturizer. It was amazing. I loved it. I really liked the brand Olympio. I also had my Bioscreen Bio uh, 24 hour remoisturizing cream. It's relipidizing and healing. I don't know where I got this, but I think my dermatologist gave it to me and I only used it on my very extreme dehydrated dry patches. Haven't had that in a while since I've been very um, diligent with my skincare and hydrating myself and I do put on oils every single night. So I've been very, very good with my skincare. So no dry patches, none, I think. And it's winter, so very happy with that. And then I did also have my all time favorite discovery uh, moisturizer. This is the Dr. Wu Hydrating System Intensive Hydrating Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. Everything about that sounds amazing in my opinion. I went through this in two months, so not a lot in there, like 30 mLs or one fluid ounces, I think. So there wasn't a lot in there, but honestly, it wasn't cheap also. But if I see it, I will buy five of them. I did also have a mini of the, or a sample or a mini, I don't know if it's a mini or a sample, the Body Shop Vitamin E Moisture Cream. I did also really like that. It was really nice. And I had two of the Castel Monteviviano City Cream Anti-Aging Moisturizer. This was also very expensive, the full size. And I did really, really like this. I think I went through quite a bit. I went through one, two, three, four, five, six full sized moisturizers or six full size or mini and six samples three lip uh lip products so that was for moisturizers and then for oils i have all of these let's start off with the keels one so i have the keels uh midnight recovery concentrate i am working through a mini of that right now and it was good, it was good while it lasted. And then I also had the Body Shop Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Facial Oil, which I absolutely love. I love this. I even used to use it on my neck and chest, as well as my hair sometimes if it was too dry. It was that amazing. Absolutely love it. And then I also had the sample L'Occitan um, Divine Youth Oil. That was actually really good too, but I don't really, I don't really purchase L'Occitane products. I don't know why, I feel like it's expensive, but I still use like buy expensive products on the side also. And then I also have my castor oil that I used on my lashes and my brows, which I don't know if it actually did anything. So those were all of my oils. So not bad, two facial oils, one sample and one castor oil for my lashes and brows, not bad. The last category that I wanna talk about is my scrubs. So. I have two body scrubs. They're both from uh, the body shop. They're both these smaller sized ones, like the minis. One was from the Shea line and the other was from the Moringa line. I like them both. I like the Shea one more because it was an oil and it was so moisturizing. I absolutely loved it. And I did also go through some bath salts that I got from my hotel room. So I had four bath salts from 
the cherry blossom line in the capital hotel tokyo absolutely loved it it smelled so good and i also had one from uh molten brown it's the sea moss stress relieving hydro soak that was also really good so those were everything that i had pictures of and i wanted to show you guys now let's talk about numbers i want to compare my numbers to last year so are you guys ready <laughs> Let's talk about the boring stuff, which is the body care. So toothpaste full size, I finished three last year, four this year. Toothpaste mini, I finished 14 last year. Wow, and two this year. Kind of makes sense. And then for my mini mouthwashes, I finished seven last year and three this year. And I'm working through a full size one right now. So those were my teeth, tooth care, tooth care. I did also finish up a whitening strip this, uh, this year, like it was just a box. So yeah, that was for this year. And then for shampoo, full size, last year I finished off seven, this year six. Minis, I finished off last year 20, this year 17. So last year I finished off 24 mini conditioners and this year I finished off 19. I finished all of my minis, I'm done. Shower gels, I finished off three full size one last year, five full sized one this year. And for the minis, last year I finished off 19 and this year I finished off 10, which makes sense, you know. Soap bars, I finished off 14 last year. This year I finished off 32. Let that sink in. I'll give you a minute. Lotions, full size lotions. Last year I finished off two only. This year I finished off six. I have been so soft from head to toe. So I'm sure my husband appreciates that. And then for deodorant, last year I finished off 11. Well, was I okay? I was going to the gym a lot also, so that kind of makes sense. And this year I finished off eight. Hair care, last year I finished off two. This year I finished off seven. That's not including my vitamins. And then for my makeup kind of thing, I just like put them all together and didn't really go through them. I talked about them specifically like in more details in my uh, part one, so you guys can check it out. And for cleansers, I finished, or cleansers slash makeup removers or makeup uh, wipes, I finished off six last year. This year I finished off five full size and five sample cleansers. For masks and scrubs, last year I finished off seven full sized whatever and three sheet masks. This year I finished off three masks, plus three samples, 11 sheet masks, and five bath salts. Very confusing, but you'll see it on the screen. Moisturizers slash lip balms. Last year I finished off 12. This year I finished off eight with eight samples. Skincare slash sunscreen. Um, last year I put them into one bundle and I said seven. This year I finished off three sunscreens and 14 skincare products. Makeup items, last year I finished off nine. This year I finished off 29. Woo -woo. I'm so happy. <laughs> that is like, that is music to my ears because I haven't bought any makeup products this year. Maybe one or two lipsticks, that's it. But I, I'm excited to see my numbers go down. Perfumes, last year I finished off six full size and two minis, or I think samples. This year I finished off seven full size, one mini and four samples. So did very good. Nail products, so nail polishes uh, slash nail products. And by nail products, I mean um, top coats and base coats and stuff like that. Last year I finished off three. This year I finished off six, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I'm finally working through my nail polishes because I just I'm not the type that would like try to finish them off miscellaneous items uh, last year I finished off seven this year four that's including two lashes so yeah the total number of products I finished off last year I finished off 202 products this year I finished off 290 four products and monetary value also has increased by a lot last year i finished off 1445.6 us dollars this year i have finished off 3003.15 us dollars worth of products wow that's nearly four thousand and a half dollars worth of products in two years
I'm pretty sure I haven't like paid full size for everything, so that's all right. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took me forever to film these two. Uh, don't forget to check out part one if you still haven't, and I will also put up my last year's empties if you guys want to see what i went through i actually talk about them in detail also if you guys like this don't forget to like and subscribe give me a thumbs up it will help my channel a lot so other people would find me i know i don't have the biggest subscriber count but uh i enjoy talking to everyone so leave me a comment also have a great day and i'll see you guys next time bye